working on the master bedroom closet. So as I take you inside, you can see the room is a good size. It's 10 foot by 10 foot with 9 foot ceilings. We have a few obstacles to get over. Uh, one, the window. And then two, the master bathroom door. I do have a duck here that I have to extend out and then I have some HVAC and some plumbing that feeds the laundry room. So while I'm showing you the area, let me show you the master bathroom. It came out awesome. And now let's hope the closet turns out just as good. Okay, so this wall is nearly complete. We got the doors on, we still gotta put the handles on, but they've been screwed together, screwed to the wall. Like I said, we're gonna do shelves here and do some shoes and boots. And then we gotta add the uh, drawers in the middle here, but um, we're taking our time and that's the end of today. Um, on the two walls behind us, or behind you, um, I gotta build the base for this side, build the base for this side, I gotta do some HVAC um, rearranging, which I'll show you. But yeah, very excited with this side. Okay, so this is the HVAC problem that I have, is this vent is right here. So I bought a 90, I'm gonna come out and then out of the front of the base. So with this, I gotta measure this, cut it to length put this into the face of the 2x6, which will come through the baseboard. I built the base here. It's going to be two of the 19 inch uh, by 93 inch cabinets. And these will both have doors. They were on back order. And then here is the single unit in the corner. Okay, so we are finished for today. Okay, so everything's dry fitted. It all fits great. Um, I'll turn the camera around and show you uh, two things that I gotta work on. So behind here is the HVAC vent. You remember? And my first thought was to cut a square out of here and put a vent cover 
Um, the next idea that I had is just router, square lines, um, and basically the baseboard is the vent. I think that's going to look a lot better and a lot cleaner, so that's what I'm going to end up doing. This piece was fun to cut. These blocks are plinth, plinth blocks. Um, they're around the rest of the house, so I wanted to match the style for the rest of the house. Um, and that's why I'm adding them in here. Okay, so this is the piece of baseboard that we have to router the uh, slots for the HVAC vent. And so um, what I'm gonna do is drill the holes first, it's a 3 8 and then I'll be able to put the router bit in and kind of guide it so they're um, straight lines. Okay, so what I've done is I've created two straight guides, and this will allow me to stay straight. I'm going to have to do this the 14 times to make these uh, up and down cuts. Too bad, huh? Put a little sand in, get the paint in there. Should be good. All right, so we got it all cut out. It looks pretty good. I got it painted. Um, so now we're ready to install it. I'll nail it, uh, caulk the corners, and fill the hole. I'll caulk the corners fill the nail holes, we should be good to go. Hey everyone, so this closet is complete. Um, there's still a few little things I gotta do, some touch up paint and uh, decide on whether I'm gonna caulk or do some quarter round, but um, as far as the cabinets and the major building part, uh, it's done, it's complete. So really happy with the turnout. Um, yeah, the IKEA PAX units, um, I think if you're building them in place and you're gonna leave them there, they're great. If you ever plan on trying to move them, um, that's where this furniture starts to have issues. So, yeah, built in place, screwed to the wall, never going to move it again unless it's a demolition. Um, they're good. So, I'll give you a tour of what we ended up doing. So, for this side, we have a his and hers. We did a 39 inch and a 39 inch. So, on this side, we have a two 19 inch. We could have done um, one. 39 inch but we kind of like the separation and then I have my 119 so this is kind of where I do my suits and pants uh, we have these pull out baskets here and then a shelf above um, cool tie rack and then yeah like you've seen I did we had about 10 inches of extra space here and so we weren't sure what to do with it. Um, we found out that the hampers 
fit perfectly. Um, so that's awesome that you can just pull those out, do your laundry, and then, yeah, we did uh, shoe shelves. And so it's deep enough that you can fit two pairs. Because we built on a two by six platform, so I could get the baseboard all the way around the room and have it uh, look uniform, uh, that makes these shelves a little bit tall. Um, I can reach it and pull out a basket, but if we store anything up there, uh, we're gonna need a little step stool or ladder. So I love the pocket door. It's a great feature. This way we're not blocking cabinets when the door is closed or open. Um, very excited about that. But overall, uh, we're done with this project and super happy with it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you maybe learned something from it. The only tips that I would have is uh, using that gyro um, screwdriver or even just an 8 volt um, trigger screwdriver uh, because trying to turn all those screws by hand um, you might have arthritis by the end of it if you don't already have arthritis. So yeah uh, that would be one recommendation and then um, once you build one of the cabinets the rest go pretty smooth. Um, the 19 inch is the same as the 39 inch, that's the same as the 29 inch. So, uh, yeah, once you build one and you get the hang of it, and you, you can really fly through building them. Um, super helpful to have a second person when you're standing them up or flipping them over or screwing stuff together. So, recommend having someone to help you build them. I think that's it. So, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it.